Well, good morning or good afternoon, everyone, as the case may be. Uh, we sure appreciate your time and your attention today in attending the uh, Partnership for Safe Water and Partnership for Clean Water Awards webinar. The uh, partnership staff and the partnership uh, volunteer officers were able to get together back in December to uh, take a stab at recording the video that you're about to watch. We certainly, like all of you, um, are very, um, you know, enthusiastic about the time that we can all get back together safely in person and recognize all the accomplishments and public health protection from all of the utilities and do that in person. We certainly hope that that's at, uh, in San Antonio at ACE you know, this coming June. But until that time, it's, uh, we can still do this um, virtually. We continue to try to up our game um, in this new virtual environment. And I see that our attendee numbers are growing as folks are, are coming in. Uh, a lot of, uh, just a, an enormous amount of effort by the program volunteers and certainly all the subscribing utilities um, in support of continuous improvement for public health protection on the drinking water side and you know the natural environment and waters of the state on the wastewater side. And so we appreciate all of your relentless efforts um, to that end each and every day. And with that, I'm going to stop and turn my camera off and Sarah is going to queue up the video that we taped back in December to recognize all of these accomplishments in the program over the last year. So thanks again, everyone, and I'll talk to you um, after the video is concluded. Hello, I'm Mike Barsotti from Champlain Water District, the Partnership for Safe Waters Steering Committee Chair, and welcome to the Partnership for Safe Waters 2021 Awardee Recognition Webinar. The awardees include some of the more than 500 treatment facilities and more than 150 distribution systems that currently participate in the Partnership for Safe Waters Drinking Water Utility Optimization Programs. This number continues to grow with more than 45 new utilities joining the Partnership for Safe Water and Partnership for Clean Water over the past three years, proving that optimization remains relevant to utilities as a means of remaining prepared for today's water utility challenges. Partnership for Safe Water subscribers provide safe drinking water to a combined population of more than 110 million people across North America and beyond having welcomed the first Australian utility to the program during 2016. In addition to the safe water programs, the Partnership for Clean Water is now at the end of its fifth year with 57 utilities representing more than 105 water reclamation facilities. I would now like to introduce Todd Brewer, AWWA's Senior Manager of Partnership Programs which includes the Partnership for Safe Water and the Partnership for Clean Water. Todd? Well, thank you for that, Mr. Chair, and welcome everyone. Uh, wow, 120 million people served by partnership utilities across all of the programs. Just a, a mind-boggling number to me. Hundreds of treatment plants, more than 150 distribution systems, the protection of the environment through the Partnership for Clean Water and our wastewater facilities. Uh, just an incredible body of work by the folks involved in the partnership programs over the last 26 years. So there are an awful lot of folks to thank, and I want to do that and get out of the way so that we can recognize all the tenacity of the efforts of these utilities in protecting the public health and the environment to those communities that they serve. So we have our presenters today, uh, our current steering committee chair, um, for both the Partnership for Safe Water and the Partnership for Clean Water that you'll hear from a little bit later. Our review committee chairs, what we call our PIAC chairs, uh, also presenting today. So we want to thank them not only for their efforts today, but all of their uh, selfless efforts in supporting the program in reviewing self-assessment reports from the utilities when they're submitted in helping utilities coach and facilitate them through the process so that their efforts really are as effective as possible. Um, 
their programmatic efforts to continue to help develop and and have these programs evolve over time, whether it's to add presidents or excellence criteria. Uh, it really is the embodiment of continuous improvement. So we thank you all for that. The partnership volunteers that don't just serve as officers, but also are our subject matter experts and our, our review uh, teams give uh, you know, significant amounts of their time, not just in reviewing self-assessments, but again, in facilitating and coaching, mentoring utilities where needed or requested to help them uh, really be as effective as possible in their efforts to move towards optimization. I want to thank the partnership staff. I'm, I'm lucky to be part of a team um, that is just fantastic in working with all the partnership volunteers and the rest of AWWA. Um, and so we're, we're blessed to have a really strong team on the partnership staff. We're supported also uh, by the rest of AWWA, whether it's our marketing or our membership staff, um, other staff within engineering and technical services. So we want to thank all of AWWA and certainly our executive leadership as well. They, they are true believers in the partnership process and programs over time. The AWWA officers were, were blessed to have uh, Chi Ho Sham be part of this program today, and he is a big supporter as, as historical AWWA officers have consistently been throughout the life of the partnership programs. I also want to thank the partnering organizations. So the partnership programs are just that and we and the partnership for safe waterside we do have six partners that make up that partnership of course awwa um, but also the association of metropolitan water agencies or amwa the u.s environmental protection agency um, asdwa the association of state drinking water administrators uh, the national association of water companies NOC, and then the water research foundation these are the six organizations that make up the partnership. And before I turn it back over to our steering committee chair, Mike Barsati, I want to um, emphasize the sincere gratitude I have for all of the utilities that are part of the partnership programs. I want to thank you for your efforts, your tenacity each and every day to protect the public health and the environment for those communities that you serve. So with that, I want to get out of the way and we can get on with recognizing all of these efforts for the protection of public health and the environment. I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Todd. The Partnership for Safe Water is governed by a steering committee, as Todd was mentioning. And the steering committee consists of one representative from each of the partnership organizations. This committee works to ensure that the Partnership for Safe Water continues to operate for utilities by utilities to help subscribers improve water quality and protect public health. The Program Effectiveness Assessment Committee that Todd mentioned, otherwise called the uh, PAC or PEAC, consists of the program's key technical volunteers. PEAC members are critical to the success of the utility peer review process, and members of this key committee are the driving force behind the awards that we are recognizing today. And we thank the members of the, the PEAC committee for their contributions to the program. We also thank those who support this year's winning utilities. These include AWWA sections and state regulators who support and celebrate the achievements of their local utilities. Thank you. Finally, we would like to recognize those who represent the reason why we are here today, Partnership for Safe Water subscriber utilities and their personnel. Thank you. Many of you have also been instrumental in supporting the Partnership for Clean Water Wastewater Utility Optimization Program. Thank you. AWWA provides invaluable support to the Partnership for Safe Water Program. Representing AWWA here today is Chiho Sham, AWWA President. Chiho? Thank you for having me at this celebratory event. AWWA is very proud to be able to support the Partnership for Safe Water and the Partnership for Clean Water Program in their missions to improve 
water quality and protect public health and the environment. Through continuous improvement and effective optimization of source water protection, water treatment, wastewater management, and drinking water distribution system, you guys are doing a great job. On behalf of AWWA, I would like to congratulate today's award-winning utility and their representative for their commitment to the protection of public health and the environment as evident by the production and delivery of drinking water of the highest quality and the optimal treatment of wastewater to protect our customer and the environment. As many of you know, I am a big fan of collaboration and partnership. By working together, both among and within organizations, water professionals can learn from each other and become more effective and efficient in solving a wide range of problems. It is in this spirit of partnership and collaboration that for more than 25 years, hundreds of treatment plan and distribution system serving a total population of more than 110 million people across North America have participated in the partnerships, voluntary continuous improvement and optimization programs. Currently under the partnership for safe water umbrella, the treatment program has more than 500 water treatment plan that are actively involved, while the distribution program has more than 150 systems. These program participants have applied the partnerships optimization tool and resources to achieve measurable improvement in water quality performance and operation effectiveness, all to enhance the ability to protect public health. As the program has grown substantially since its founding, the Partnership for Safe Water remain a program that is continuously been developed and support for utility and by utility. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize our utility optimization expert whose voluntary share their time and expertise to support the optimization and continuous improvement effort of the utility subscriber of the partnership program. These volunteers are truly fantastic. Without these volunteers, the partnership program would be unaffordable and less impactful. Furthermore, I would like to recognize the organizational partner of the Partnership for Safe Water Program. Without our partner, the partnership program would not be successful. So apart from AWWA, our partners are the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the Association of State Drinking Water Administrators, the Association of Metropolitan Water Agency, the National Association of Water Companies, and the Water Research Foundation. In addition to the Partnership for Safe Water Program, I am very encouraged to see the continuous growth of interest in the Partnership Program, which have extended to wastewater through the Partnership for Clean Water, and now it's in its fifth year. It has more than 60 utility and 110 wastewater facility participating. Their success have indicated the sustained relevancy of optimization to the utility to meet the challenge of today. Finally, I am very pleased that the partnership program is developing resources in support of source water protection. Some of you may have also noticed that AWWA has celebrated the inaugural Source Water Protection Week from September 26 to October 2nd, 2021, and it's with great participation. So again, thank you for having me here to celebrate your success in the partnership program. You are doing great work and please keep it up. Thanks, Chio, for those remarks. The Partnership for Safe Water has benefited from US EPA support since the program was first established in 1995, and we appreciate their continued support of partnership programs. I'm pleased to introduce Jennifer McLean, Director of US EPA's Office of Groundwater and Drinking Water. Jennifer. Hi, EPA is proud to be a partner organization in the Partnership for Safe Water. As a partner, we actively collaborate with the partnership in furthering its important public health mission. EPA supports the voluntary or optimization efforts of the Partnership for Safe Water Utilities. 
Serving a combined population of over 110 million, these utilities work to improve treatment plan and distribution system operations and performance beyond regulatory requirements to provide the additional measure of public health protection. Today, we're recognizing drinking water treatment plants and distribution systems receiving several levels of partnership for safe water recognition, including the Director's Award, which is presented to utilities that have conducted a comprehensive treatment plant or distribution self-assessment and developed and implemented an action plan to lead to improved performance. The President's Award, which is presented to utilities that have met the program's numerical optimization goals and are working toward full optimization, and the Phase 4 Ex Excellence in Water Treatment Award, which is presented to utilities that have demonstrated fully optimized performance and operations. The Partnership for Safe Water wouldn't be a success without you. Numerous utility op optimization experts volunteer their time to evaluate utility self-assessments, to participate in special projects, and to develop the governance and guidelines for the Partnership for Safe Water. We appreciate them sharing their time and expertise with the program and the participating utilities. Today, we are here to recognize the 39 utilities, 68 water treatment facilities, four distribution systems, and one wastewater treatment facility that have gone above and beyond to operate in a mode of continuous improvement and optimized performance to protect public health and the environment. Congratulations to all of these award winners. Keep up the good work. And a big thank you for the commitment of every utility partner to, for advancing our shared goals to ensure that all Americans have clean and safe water. Thank you, Jennifer, for those remarks. Next, Kevin Linder of Aurora Water in Colorado, the PEAC Treatment Chair, will present awards for the Director's Awards and the President's Awards within the Partnership Treatment Plant Optimization Program. I'll turn it over to Kevin. Everyone, it's uh, it's a it's an honor and it's a privilege for me to be able to uh just celebrate with these utilities and treatment plants and um just the awards that they're going to be that they earned and that they're going to be uh recognized for today so with that we'll start out with uh the director award winning plants from 2021 in spite of a pandemic and all the other things we had going on in our world we still had two treatment plants receive the director's award in 2021 joining the 307 facilities that have achieved this award over the previous 26 years of the partnership program. First one is Aqua Pennsylvania. They serve 3 million people, and the award winning plant is Bristol Creek Water Treatment Plant, located in Bristol, Pennsylvania. The next awardee is the city of Houston. Sorry. Population served 2,300,000. And the award-winning plant is the Northeast Water Purification Plant in Houston, Texas. So now we're going to move to the Partnership for Safe Water five-year director's award-winning treatment plants. There's 11 of those that have reached that five-year mark in maintaining phase three director's award status in 2021, joining 231 other water treatment facilities that have reached this milestone in previous years. We'd like to recognize Long Beach Water Department, serving a population of 470,000. The award-winning plant is the Long Beach Water Department Groundwater Treatment Plant in Long Beach, California. Next, we have the City of Grand Junction, serving a population of 30,000 people. The award-winning plant is the City of Grand Junction Water Treatment Plant, located in Grand Junction, Colorado. We'd like to next recognize Denver Water, serving a population of 1.4 million. And the award-winning plant is the Moffitt Water Treatment Plant, located in Lakewood, Colorado. We'd like to next recognize Water One, serving a population of 900,000 folks. Two award-winning plants. The first one is the Hanson Water Treatment Plant Number One in Kansas City, Kansas. The second one is the Walcott Water Treatment Plant, also located in Kansas City, Kansas. Next, we'd like to recognize Charlotte Water. 
total population served, 1.2 million. The award-winning plant is the best water treatment plant located in Charlotte, North Carolina. Next, we'd like to recognize Onondaga County Water Authority, serving a population of 320,000 people. The award-winning plant is the Lake Ontario Water Treatment Plant located in Oswego, New York. Next, we'd like to uh, recognize Lake County Department of Utilities, serving a population of 126,000 people. And there's two award-winning plants we wanna recognize. The first one is the Aquarius Water Treatment Plant in Willoughby, Ohio. And the second one is the Bacon Road Water Treatment Plant in Painesville, Ohio. Next, Pennsylvania American Water, serving a population of 2.4 million people. The award-winning plant is the Rock Run Water Treatment Plant, located in Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Next, we'd like to recognize the Reading Area Water Authority, serving a population of 125,000 people, with the award-winning plant being Maiden Creek Filter Plant in Reading, Pennsylvania. Next, we're gonna switch gears and jump to the 10-year director award-winning plants, and there's five of those. They maintain the phase three director's award requirements in 2021, joining 184 others that reached this milestone in previous years. The first one is the Atlanta Fulton County Water Resource Commission. Serving a population of 400,000 people and the award-winning plant is the Tom Lowe Atlanta Fulton County Water Treatment Plant in Alpharetta, Georgia. Next, I'd like to recognize the Pennsylvania American Water. Serving a population of 2.4 million people. The award-winning plant is the Stony Garden Water Treatment Plant Blue Water System, Wind Gap, Pennsylvania. Next is Aqua America Incorporated, serving a population of 3 million people. The award-winning plant is Roaring Creek Water Filtration Plant, Ellisburg, Pennsylvania. Next to be recognized is the Western Berks Water Authority, serving a population of 25,000 people. The award-winning plant is the Western Berks Water Treatment Plant, in Sinking Spring, Pennsylvania. Next is the West Virginia American Water, serving a population of 350,000 people. And the award-winning plant is the Kanua Valley Water Treatment Plant, located in Charleston, West Virginia. Next, we're gonna jump to recognizing 15-year director award-winning plants. And there were four of those plants that reached this Milestone in 2021, joining, uh, joining 156 others. We congratulate these plants for their enduring commitment to water quality. Next, we'd like to, um, the first one in that group is the Birmingham Waterworks, total population serving 770,000 people. And the award-winning plant is the H.Y. Carson filter plant in Pinson, Alabama. I'd like to recognize next the Great Lakes Water Authority, serving a total population of 4.2 million. And there's three water plants I'd like to recognize. The Lake Huron Water Treatment Plant, located in Fort Grashut, Michigan. The next one is the Northeast Water Treatment Plant in Detroit, Michigan. And the third one is the Southwest Water Treatment Plant, located in Allen Park, Michigan. Next, we're gonna recognize 20-year director award-winning plants. But we started recognizing those plants in 2017, and today we have 25 water treatment plants that are receiving the 20-year director's award, joining 74 others that have reached this milestone in previous years. We congratulate these plants for their enduring commitment to water quality. The first utility I'd like to recognize is East Bay Munis Municipal Utility District. I have several plants from that utility. The first one I'd like to recognize is the Lafayette Water Treatment Plant located in Lafayette, California. Next is the Sobrante Water Treatment Plant located in Al Sobrante, California. Next is the Upper San Leandro Water Treatment Plant located in Oakland, California. And, and the fourth one is the Walnut Creek Water Treatment Plant located in Walnut Creek, California. I'd like to recognize Modesto Irrigation District, serving a population of 200,000 people. 
and the award-winning plant is the Modesto Regional Water Treatment Plant located in Waterford, California. Next is uh, Illinois American Water Treatment Plant serving a population of 1.2 million people. And the award-winning plant is the Illinois River Treatment Plant, Peoria District Water Treatment Plant located in Peoria, Illinois. Next is the Indiana American Water serving a population of 722,000 people. The award-winning plant is the Muncie White River Treatment Plant in Muncie, Indiana. Next is the Public Works Commission City of Fayetteville. Total population served 203,500. And I have two plants I'd like to recognize from that utility. The P.O. Hoffer Water Treatment Facility located in Fayetteville, North Carolina and the Glenville Lake Water Treatment Facility, also located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Next is New Jersey American Water, serving a population of 2.5 million people. The award-winning plant is the Jumping Brook Water Treatment Plant in Neptune, New Jersey. Next is the Aqua Ohio Water Company, serving a population of 120,000 people. The award-winning plant is the Marion District Water Treatment Plant located in Marion, Ohio. Next is the Borough of East Greenville, serving a population of 3,000 people. The award-winning treatment plant is the East Greenville Water Treatment Plant in East Greenville, Pennsylvania. I'd, next, I'd like to recognize Pennsylvania American Water, and they have several treatment plants that are receiving this award. Um, We'll start with the Brownsville Water Treatment Plant located in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. Next, we have the Crystal Lake Water Treatment Plant in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. We then have the Kane Water Treatment Plant in Kane, Pennsylvania, the Lake Scranton Water Treatment Plant in Roaring, For in Roaring Brook Township, Pennsylvania. Sorry about that. Next is the Norristown Water Treatment Plant in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Like to recognize the Punxsutawney filter plant, big run in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Next is the Susquehanna water treatment plant in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. Like to recognize the Watrous water treatment plant in Plain Township, Pennsylvania. The White Deer Creek water treatment plant in New Columbia, Pennsylvania. And those, all those plants uh, serve a population of 2.4 million. So congratulations. Next, I'd like to recognize the city of Houston, serving a population of 2.3 million people. The award-winning plant is the East Water Purification Plant Number Three, located in Houston, Texas. Next is the Spartanburg Water Utility. We'd like to. They serve a population of 180,000 people, and we'd like to recognize. The R.B. Sims Water Treatment Plant, Chesney, South Carolina. I'd like to recognize Burlington Public Works Utility, serving a population of 42,000. The award-winning plant is the Francis J. O'Brien Water Treatment Facility, located in Burlington, Vermont. Next is West Virginia American Water, serving a population of 351,000 people. And the award winning plant is the ADA Ada Water Treatment Plant, Bluefield, West Virginia. I'd like to just recognize, just again, lift up all those plants and congratulate them on their hard work and their um, just tenacity at moving toward optimization. With that, I'd like to turn the ceremony back over to Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Kevin. Greatly appreciated. Next, April Neighbors of Birmingham Waterworks Board in Alabama, who is our PEAC Distribution Chair, will present the Distribution System Optimization Program Awards. April? Thanks, Mike. So the distribution systems in the Partnership for Safe Water Program demonstrate that they are continuously committed to optimization. Participating systems can benchmark their performance in relation to other utilities in the region across North America. All distribution systems that add a residual disinfectant are and are interested in improving performance are invited to participate in this program. 
So with that, um, I'm going to start with two um, distribution systems that are being recognized this year for reaching this level of achievement uh, within the 2021 year. And the first one that we have listed is Central Arkansas Water, um, who serves a total population of 490,000, and um, they are located in Little Rock, Arkansas. And then our next one in this category for first year awardees is the Central Lake County Joint Action Water Agency. And that group serves a total population of 285,000, and they are located in Lake Bluff, Illinois. Our next category under the distribution program is the five year directors award. And under that program or that division, we have two distribution systems that are going to be recognized for reaching their five consecutive years of directors award achievements. Those two distribution systems are San Jacinto River Authority Woodlands Division uh, located in the Woodlands, Texas, and they serve a population of 110,000. And our second distribution system is the Newport News Waterworks Department um, in Newport News, Virginia, who serves a total population of 407,000. So congratulations to all four of these um, distribution systems who have reached these milestones. So with that, I will turn it back over to you, Mike. Thank you, April. I will now recognize utilities uh, receiving the Presence Award for treatment optimization. Uh, also, we'll go on after that and recognize utilities that received the Phase 4 Excellence in Water Treatment Award, and also those receiving the 5-year, 10-year, and 15-year Phase 4 Excellence Awards. All of these award levels are voluntary phases of the program that go above and beyond the Phase 3 Director's Award and they recognize utilities for meeting the partnership's stringent optimization goals. There are four treatment plants uh, that received the President's Award in 2021. These plants join 44 others that have reached this performance milestone. Um, the first treatment plant is the city of Longmont uh, receiving the President's Award. Population served by that utility is 88,000, and the award-winning plant is the Nelson Flanders Water Treatment Plant in Longmont, Colorado. Great Lakes Water Authority received the President's Award in, in 2020 and uh, their total population is 4.2 million. The award-winning plant is the Waterworks Park in Detroit, Michigan. The Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Authority received the President's Award. The total population served is 600,000. The award-winning plant is in is San Juan, comma, water treatment plant in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The city of Raleigh received the President's Award. Their total population served is 603,000, and the award-winning plant is the D.E. Benton Water Treatment Plant in Garner, North Carolina. Nine treatment facilities are receiving the five-year President's Award for water treatment for maintaining the presence award level of performance for a five-year period. Those, uh, those five, uh, nine treatment plants uh, are the Birmingham Waterworks Board. The utility uh, joined in August of 2000. Their total population served is 770,000. And the two award-winning plants for the Bir Birmingham Waterworks Board are the Putnam, filter plant in Birmingham, Alabama, and the H.Y. Carson filter plant in Pinson, Alabama. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, they joined uh, the Partnership Treatment Program in January of 1996. They serve a total population of 18 million, and their award-winning plant for the President's Award 
for the uh, for the five year presence award is the Robert B. Deemer Filtration Plant in Your Belinda, California. Pennsylvania American Water, uh, they uh, joined the treatment program in February of 1996. Their total population served is 2.4 million. They have five uh, award-winning plants that have uh, met the five-year presence award criteria. And they are, the plants are the Bangor Water Treatment Plant in Bangor, Pennsylvania, the Brunel Water Treatment Plant in Carbondale, Pennsylvania, the Crystal Lake Water Treatment Plant in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, the Hershey Water Treatment Plant uh, and the G.C. Smith Water Treatment Plant in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania, and the Nesbitt Water Purification Plant in Pittston, Pennsylvania. Austin Water uh, is a utility, has award-winning plant for the five-year presence award. Austin Water joined the treatment program in February of 1996. The total population served is uh, 1 million customers and the population, the award-winning plant is the Albert H. Urich Water Treatment Plant in Austin, Texas. All right, so at this point we'll move from, uh, you know, into the uh, Excellence in Water Treatment Award. We, we uh, have gone through, just to summarize, we've gone through the Phase 3 Director's Awards. Uh, we've talked about and that's the first step. And then over and above that first step is the presence awards that we've we presented those rewards as well. And then of course the the pinnacle in achieving water treatment plan optimization is the excellence in water treatment award, which we're in, going to go through now. So uh, there's one utility that has that is receiving the excellence in water treatment award for treatment in the first year, first time they've received it. Um, and they join 18 others in this performance milestone. And that utility is the Beaufort Jasper Water and Sewer Authority. They joined the partnership treatment program in March 2002. The total population that they serve is 150,000. And their award winning plant is the Chelsea Water Treatment Plant in Okady, South Carolina. Congratulations to uh, Beaufort Jasper Water and Sewer Authority. Next, we'll talk about the uh, utilities that have maintained the five-year Excellence in Water Treatment Award, the plants within their utilities that have ach achieved that milestone. And there's one plant that joins 15 others in this meet, reaching this performance milestone. And that the utility is Aurora Water. They joined the treatment program in July of 1997. The total population that the utility serves is 375,000 and the award-winning treatment plant is the Peter D. Binney Water Purification Facility in Aurora, Colorado. Um, and congratulations to Aurora Water on this fine achievement. Now the 10-year uh, milestone for the 10-year Excellence Water Treatment Award, there are two facilities that join six others meet, meeting this performance milestone. The first is the Louisville Water Company. Uh, they joined the treatment program in December of 1995. They serve a population of 888,000 people and their award reading plant uh, for the 10 year excellence in water treatment award is the BE Payne Water Treatment Plant in Louisville, Kentucky. Orange Water and Sewer Authority uh, also achieved this, this important milestone for the Excellence in Water Treatment Award. They joined in July of 2002 into the treatment program. They serve a population of 83,300 and their award-winning plant is the Jones Ferry Water Treatment Plant in Carborough, North Carolina. Congratulations on meeting that 10-year mark. We'll move on to the 15-year Excellence in Water Treatment Award. Two plants join three others meeting this performance milestone. The first plant to mention is uh, is a plant that's within the East Bay Municipal Utility District. 
East Bay Municipal Utility District joined the partnership treatment program in March of 1996. They serve a population of 1.4 million. The uh, award-winning plant is the Orinda Water Treatment Plant in Orinda, California. And uh, their anniversary date of when they reached that 15 year anniversary was in May of 2021. The Greenwood Commissioners of Public Works um, it also has reached this, this important milestone of the 15 year Excellence Water Treatment Award. They joined the uh, treatment program in March of 2002. They serve a population of 60,000 and their award-winning plant is the WRY's Water Treatment Plant in Greenwood, South Carolina. And that 15-year anniversary date was February 14th, 2021. Congratulations to Greenwood on meeting that significant milestone. Next, Robert Chang will recognize the 2021 Class of Partnership for Clean Water Directors Awardees. And at this point, we'll turn it over to Robert. Robert? Good morning, Mike, uh, and everybody out in the partnership uh, space. Um, I'll give you a little uh, brief rundown of the uh, the uh, partnership program, and uh, before we get to the uh, the award, uh, the partnership for clean water program, which was launched in 2016, now has 57 utilities and more than 110 water reclamation plants um, counted as the participants. We took the uh, lessons learned from the successful safe uh, water program uh, and adapted it, uh, the, you know, the similar processes to the clean water side of our business. The first program uh, in the clean water offering, uh, but not the last, is based on critical examination of each plant's unit processes and also looking at uh, energy optimization. And all this is done really to ensure that the dual goals of public health and environmental protection are met. We're currently uh, working on additional offerings to provide uh, value to our participants, so please be on the lookout for these programs in the near future. The success of the program over the last five years is uh, due large part to dedicated staff and volunteers, but we also would like to uh, recognize uh, the large debt of gratitude that we owe to our utility subscribers for their participation, their trust uh, in the process. This year, we have one director's awardee who joins 12 other facilities in attaining this award. Uh, now, we would like to recognize and congratulate the Aqua Pennsylvania Wastewater Plant. Um, at this point, uh, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I will turn the program back to Mike to um, lead us through the rest of the, the program. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Robert. So to close, thank you for all of your hard work and dedication in the protection of public health and the environment. The partnership programs appreciate your participation as members of award-winning utilities and many times as volunteer contributors to the partnership program. We realize that this year's virtual award ceremony doesn't offer the camaraderie of our annual awards uh, luncheon that's held at, at the annual ACE conference, we look forward to the day when we can again hold the annual awards program at ACE in person. We look forward to continuing to interact with you in the future and encourage all who are interested in volunteering with the partnership programs, Safe Water and Clean Water, uh, encourage you to join and become involved. Thank you very much. Hello again, everyone, uh, and we appreciate you staying through the entirety of the video and the recognition for all of these utilities in the safe water and clean water programs over the last year. Uh, obviously, the partnership is, is all about continuous improvement and, and, you know, we're all fairly new in the virtual realm, so we will continue to get better at, uh, at our virtual game, so to speak. Um, but we hope that one of the overarching themes is a sincere appreciation for the partner from the partnership staff and and all the partnership volunteers for all of the relentless efforts that these utilities um, apply each and every day to trying to improve you know their efforts to um, you know improve public health protection um, and, and also you know their wastewater quality and their protection of the environment through wastewater treatment optimization as well 
you know, one of the things that Mike said at the end of the recorded video there is, is it's hard to overstate the, the camaraderie of meeting in person. We all miss that. Certainly the partnership staff and volunteers are no exception. Um, we love talking shop with each other and learning from each other about uh, challenges that have been overcome and optimization, um, you know, across the spectrum of partnership programs. We're all, we're all true believers and we love to compare notes. One of the other things that's really cool about meeting in person, aside from getting to see, you know, old friends in person and colleagues, you know, the, the event itself is just different in nature in person. We, we have, you know, our incoming president of AWWA typically attends the event, as does, you know, the director of the Office of Groundwater and Drinking Water, Jennifer McLean, these days. Uh, and we, you know, there's a photo opportunity for the award winning utilities uh, that just is, you know, helps to symbolize, again, the culmination of all of these efforts. Um, it's not the finish line. Optimization is a journey, not a finish line, as our previous partnership manager, Barb Martin, liked to say a lot, and it's so good I like to steal it myself from time to time. Uh, but we certainly recognize that getting together in person um, and acknowledging all of these accomplishments and having that opportunity to kind of, um, you know, memorialize that with, a, you know, a photograph with the plaque and, and some of the, you know, um, longtime supporters of the program with EPA and the AWWA officers um, are, are also important. So with all of that, we'll draw our program to a close, but I cannot emphasize enough. We really look forward to seeing you all in person again soon, hopefully um, in San Antonio at ACE. Um, you can reach out to us at www.awwa.org backslash partnership. You can certainly email me or any of the partnership uh, with inquiries about volunteering, about other partnership programs that your utility may not be a part of. Um, but I'll just leave you again one more time with our sincere gratitude for your relentless efforts in the protection of public health and the environment. And don't be a stranger, reach out to us and let us know how we can help in those efforts. All right. We appreciate your time and attention and be safe, everyone. Take care.